Welcome to Fight Right Bite Size. Today we're going to be looking at the technique for cuts with a broadsword. First and foremost, what is a cut? A cut is an attack that is coming from the outside in and you're using what we call the true edge of the blade, which is the cutting edge here of the blade. Now we're going to start by making a grip. Our right hand is closest uh, to the blade and our left hand is nearest the pommel and we're going to grab the blade like so. Again, for stage combat purposes, we always give a prep to the first move to give our opponent um, a signal to say, here comes the sequence, here comes the first move. So to do that, we're going to bring the tip of the blade straight up. We're then going to take the blade out to the side, and from this point, I'm going to extend my arm, giving my body a little bit of a twist to create the illusion of of um, intention and drive and power but all I'm actually doing is reaching my blade forward and I'm extending my arm so from my shoulder to the tip of the blade it's a straight line to my opponent's target or where I'm aiming for so the blade comes up out to the side and extend if I then want to cut to the opposite side I'm going to bring the blade back we call this kissing the blade the tip of the blade comes up again, take it to the opposite side and extend the arm to here. Now this extension is important because it takes the, um, it takes the momentum of the attack forward rather than into my opponent. So as my opponent parries there will be a clash of swords but the energy isn't swiping through. It's all about communication, it's all about creating an illusion but about being safe and working carefully with your partner. So I'm not whacking my sword as hard as I can into my opponent. There's a nice straight line because it's a nice strong arm. If I let the blade, if you can see, kind of have this V shape, it weakens the attack and it's easy for my blade to slip through and potentially hit my, uh, my partner. So make sure you have that full extension. So if the blade comes up, I'm twisting my body, dropping the blade horizontal to the line of attack. So if I'm going for shoulder, the hand is high, if I'm going for uh, mid midsection or legs, my hand comes lower. So we're here, and then I'm going to drive my body and my shoulders, twisting it as I extend. I bring the blade back around the other way and extend. So these attacks are coming in, the energy is driving forward, but I'm creating the illusion of the cut coming in. Our four main cuts are coming in for the two shoulders and for the two thigh height attacks. We're, there is a cut coming down, but today we're just concentrating on the horizontal attacks. So to practice this, bring the tip of the blade up, drop it to the side, attack the left shoulder, bring the blade back in, drop it to the side. Each time I'm attacking with the cutting edge, or the true edge, bring the blade back in, cutting for the leg, Bring the blade back in, cutting for the leg. Remember each time to create that intention, so create that twist. Stage combat is all about illusion, not always reality, so make sure that what you're doing is safe. Good way to practice this, if you have some kind of uh, stick, I think you can see that here, or anything that you can use as a guide here, the idea is you want to create power, but you want to be stopping before you hit that. That way you know you've got control. Bring it the other way to here. So as I do this each time, and what I've done as well on this, I've marked out some targets as well. I can be going for those targets, but I make sure I've got control. Control is the most important thing. Thanks for joining us again. Please subscribe if you haven't already and share this page to all of your friends and family and anyone else that you feel might be interested. We'll see you again tomorrow.